these are the people that help me and they can definitely help you guys too so please check them all out hey everyone i'm here today to talk about something that that bothers me a lot when i see it in forums and youtube videos a lot of other youtubers or experts or whoever writing articles and whatever is always telling you to print your minis tilt it you know 30 to 45 degrees to the back so this video pay attention before you comment this video is only going to be for humanoid shaped minis that are standing mostly in a vertical pose because let's get that straight humanoid minis vertical pose we're printing without a base because that's how you should be printing your minis so i'm talking about something like this demon this fish man this dwarf or even this bigger figure like this cyclops if you went down to the basics and reduced these to a simple geometrical shape they would basically all become a cylinder forgetting that they have limbs. The basic shape on an upright human being, including yourself, if you look in the mirror, it's easiest to think of yourself as uh, a cylinder. So when we're printing a mini such as this, if you look at my video on peel force, well, it's actually on horizontal lines, it's titled, but it's really about peel force and the suction that's created um, when a print surface area is pulling off the FEP. So let's think about this. We'll do it with the mini and with, the, with our cylinder. If you standing upright. The largest cross section is the fattest part of his body, a horizontal slice. That's the biggest print surface area. That creates the most suction, the most peel force. If you tilted this model 45 degrees to the back, you increase the diameter of that, of that peel force area, that printing area, almost double. And we know from my other video, if you double the size of the area that's printing, you, you increase the peel force by 16 times. So when you're printing something like a miniature, even a smaller, thinner one like this, when you angle it back 45, you're creating a much larger, even on a small figure, it might not matter as much, but you're still creating a much larger peel force. So when you have minis pulling off your supports and you say, well, maybe my exposure wasn't high enough, maybe it was this, maybe it was that, it could just be that the peel force was too great for your supports to hold because of the way the model was oriented. So the reason, if you look at my videos, you know at my pictures and anything that I've done, you know, when I orient a mini like this, I tilt it back maybe five degrees, maybe 10 degrees. Now, this is not 100% for every case. There are some extreme cases where when the, when the artist has designed a lot of fiddly, hangy bits or maybe fangs that I want to make sure print properly, but I'm afraid I can't support them or the supports will damage them, I might tilt the model more or less. I might even go upside down. Let's forget those examples. Just my normal 99 out of 100 models I do, model like this, I just tilt it back five degrees. Why? Because if I tilt it back more, I'm going to increase that horizontal surface area that's printing, that's creating much, much larger suction, much larger peel force, and my model might fail. Especially on a bigger, thicker one like this. He's already got a pretty thick section. If I tilt him back, that section gets really, there's a huge print surface that's going to be printing all at once. And you tilt this guy back and support him, you're much more likely that this model is going to fail than if you print them almost vertically. So that's it. I'm, I'm not talking again animals like a horse, which is built differently and has a large cross section when it's standing vertically that you might want to tilt. So I'm going to make another video on printing different types of creatures, maybe even vehicles and stuff like that. But I wanted to start off with my biggest pet peeve because I see on all the Facebook groups I'm on, I'm not on Reddit much, but on all the Facebook groups I'm on, I'm on a lot of different groups. I always see people telling everyone, someone asks, everyone says, oh, tilt it back 45 degrees, you know, when you're doing a mini. And to me, in most cases, that's actually wrong. You're, every time you tilt it back, I mean, look at your model. If it is an upright humanoid type shape, as you tilt it back, all you're doing is massively increasing the surface area that's gonna print it once, which means you're massively increasing your peel forces. Now think, let's say you load a plate up, like I do, with six figures at once, six of these small figures. If they're all tilted back and you create six large areas of peel force at the same time, what's going to happen? Failure. And you're not going to know why. You say, maybe my supports are wrong, maybe my exposure times are wrong, maybe this wrong. No, maybe when you tilt it, you're just creating too much peel force, too much suction to deal with. It could be that simple. So again, contrary to all the wisdom you see on the internet and everywhere else, I'm telling you, when you print minis, again, humanoid, vertically standing minis, basically, don't tilt them back too much. The more you tilt them, the more surface area you create, the more peel force, the more chance of failure. So that's it. I hope you learned something. I hope this helps you guys get more success and better prints. 
and I'll be back with the other videos on how to orient other shaped objects so you can do those properly too because unfortunately the conventional wisdom out there I don't think it's so good on a lot of this stuff because we're in a new industry and you know one person says something that everyone else just copies it and says oh that's the right way to do it that's not how it should work the only other reason you might want to tilt an object and this I'll give credit to when we're not talking about peel forces when you tilt an object uh, you do even though it's so hard to see layer lines on resin prints anyway like I do it at 0.04 and you can barely see anything but Angling it will change the uh, appearance of surface lines if you could see them. But again, just remember, depending on the model shape, if you do that, you're still increasing your, your peel force, and I would advise against it. You know, So that's it for today. Thanks, and happy 3D printing.